For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate every single Cancer out here. For my cross watchers, this energy can be resonated, so just be a little aware that as you're tuning in, somebody's dealing with a Leo. You can have a history with a Leo. Today, Cancer's match is going to be Leo. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I'm seeing you very close to achieving a goal, but you have to be confident. You have to be confident. You have to know you're going to achieve this goal for a lot of my cancers. Do not let your pride get in the way when it comes to being successful. It could be holding you back, your pride. Somebody could be dealing with the Aries. We got a lot of fire energy. Somebody could have one of these signs in their charts. I'm seeing a really powerful moment approaching for you. We got a fiery comments approaches, a win-win outcome is forecast. So I'm seeing you come out on top regardless in this new situation. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have a lot of fire energy going on here. Somebody's definitely dealing with a fire sign. Somebody, this is the complete opposite of you. Said a little bit of earth too. Somebody's dealing with an earth sign. We got we got some Capricorn energy. Somebody is in love with a Capricorn. I'm seeing the into a tough cycle approaches. Some of you were having like a cycle period going on where your life where just something just kept repeating over and over and over again. And it seemed like nothing was really working out. For some of you, your commitment is being tested with an Aries or a Capricorn. Somebody's dealing with a Pisces. Somebody could be around a Pisces, can have Pisces in their charts. Somebody's in a situation ship or a third party situation with a Pisces. I'm seeing some of you could have a new start coming with a Pisces. You could have a Pisces coming in for some of my cancers. I'm seeing the answers that you've been wanting when it comes to a Pisces or a Gemini. I am seeing that come through for you. We got a lot of Gemini energy here. In order for things to work between you and this Gemini, communication is going to have to come into play. Especially with this Pisces, too. I'm getting that's the big barrier between you and this Pisces or you and this Gemini. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini and a Pisces. And I'm getting either way. That's the problem for a lot of you. We got some cancer energy here. We got let your fears dissolve. So for a lot of you, the only way that you're going to get through this fear is tackling it on. Whether it's moving, whether it's getting a new car, whether it's starting a business, whether it's doing a job that you didn't think you were qualified to do the only way you're going to get through this fear is by tackling it on somebody could be dealing with a pisces we got a lot of pisces energy showing up somebody could be dealing with a virgo a little bit of cancer somebody could be dealing with another cancer we got cancer on cancer energy here we got pushed through any insecurity so for right now for a lot of my cancers if you're wanting to get through this fear if you're wanting to get through this insecurity we're gonna have to tackle it on Focus on the positive. Focus on the brighter side of what is working for you instead of what isn't. Somebody could be dealing with a Sag. This could be a Capricorn for a lot of you. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. This could be a Taurus for some of you as well. We got some Libra energy here. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. We got make time for self-love. So for a lot of my cancers right now, let's go ahead and set some time for ourselves, which I feel like that's where us Libras and cancers can relate. We don't mind making time for us. And I feel like that's what you need to do right now. You haven't really been doing it recently. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dating a Scorpio right now. I'm seeing that. You need to try to get to know the Scorpio a little bit more. You haven't really made the effort. Some of my cancers did have a learning experience recently. I'm seeing this learning experience has made you want to raise your vibrations. It's made you want to watch who's around you. Watch the energy and the company that you keep. I'm seeing you taking a step back and cutting off a lot of people. And kind of just falling back and... Focusing more on you and following your intuition. I'm seeing you learn how to forgive. I feel like this is really huge for cancer. Because cancers do not forgive easily. <laughs> I know. So, I'm loving the fact that you're able to forgive now. I'm seeing you... I'm seeing you clear, cancel, and release. This is everything. This is bad energies. This is people that just don't serve you. This is bad vibes, literally everything. I'm seeing you be courageous. I am seeing you take that step. I'm seeing you being guided right now by a loved one who's passed away. I'm seeing you listen to them intuition-wise. I'm seeing for a lot of my cancers, that learning experience also caused you to grow spiritually. I'm seeing you be a little bit more vulnerable and a little bit more free when it comes to exploring spirituality. And I'm seeing you learn to love things about yourself that you hated at one point too. I am seeing you get through this insecurity. It's just going to take work. For those of you that are in a situation right now where you're getting to know someone, the universe did send this person your way. I think that it's time that you kind of sit back and get to know somebody. I am seeing love come into play for you.
I appreciate every single cancer. I am still doing three for five questions for cancer. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. The email is derefondella.gmail.com. You can check out the description below for more. Thank you.